You think Crawford will fight Pasta on in pay-per-view? Oh, week? that's another one. That's another one. Uh, Crawford and Pasta. Everyone talk about it. Pasta. Pasta. I, I, I don't know. I, I think it's a pay-per-view fight. But see, with Pasta, what? I mean, he's not. this is the thing about some of these guys, and it's really disturbing. You win a big, credible fight against um, against Matisse, and then you just disappear off the scene. And we're, we're talking about you, but you know, when, when are you going to get back in the ring, man? You know what I'm saying? Well, well, this, is, this is too long, isn't it? He, he was supposed to be fighting... Uh, Granados who beat Amir Aman. I don't know why that fight uh, was not made, but but uh, HBI, I think due to their their sort of new budgetary sort of cutbacks, I think they're almost pushing Crawford towards this pay per view fight. I, I don't think it's a pay per view fight personally, you know. Well, you don't think it's a pay per view fight? No, I don't. Think so. Well, you know, with, Gr- with when Granados. It when it ends up, it will be. When it ends up, it will be. When, when the fight actually happens, people will be glad they paid their money. Because Postal's to Postal is going to be brilliant. He could upset Crawford and knock him out, you know? Could I happen. Think, I think he'd be Crawford, in my opinion. See? Told you. See? He's, he's, a, he's a tall, tall, clever fighter who can actually punch as well. But there's a lot of unknown factors with him. We don't really know, you know, how is he going to handle it, sort of an ambidextrous Hey, we could boxer. say Crawford too. I mean, he's been fine our lower. I mean... Smaller guys too. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Miguel. You know, he's 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 fought a lot of guys. You know, who's blown up. You know, even super featherweights going up. You know, even taking up. You know, Hank Lundy as well from uh, lightweight to lightweight. Well, I mean, to, to be fair, to be to be fair though, Postal fought Lundy and he didn't knock him out. He went to a close decision with him. Yeah, but that was there for Lundy, man. But I didn't, I didn't think uh, Crawford yeah, stopped. I, think I didn't think it was going to stop him. Yeah, but I think uh, no, the, no, the, I think uh, when uh, when uh, Paul Stoll fought him, he was still in, in the process of uh, uh, probably improving. Don't you agree? I mean, there's a I reason mean, why. There's a reason po- why. Possibly, but I mean, see, the the, the thing with Paul Stoll that that kind of um, annoys me, I guess, is the fact that people act like he just went in there and dominated Matisse. Matisse rocked him several times in that fight. That wasn't that wasn't an easy fight for Paul Stoll to win in the first place. And then even against Solchik Aydin, he got rocked by Aydin in the very first round. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. to me, oh. that says that Postal yeah. he doesn't have the greatest defense. Yeah, he doesn't he have a good team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but but Crawford isn't necessarily the type of just lights-out puncher I don't, that they're trying to build him as. I don't think he's really a one-punch knockout guy. He's a guy that he has, you know, good power. But I don't think – see, I think Crawford versus Postal is like a 50-50 fight. You know, I don't think either yeah, one really holds an advantage over I'm the other. I think, I, think it's, I, think it's, I think it's pretty fair. You know, I, I think yeah, they've yeah, proven yeah. about as much as one another. Matisse has probably the better – I mean, or Postal probably has the better win of the two overall. But Crawford has better wins overall. I mean, if you go – if you try to rank like the first, second, third, fourth, fifth best wins against each other. Yes. But in my opinion, I think in the Matisse fight, I think he gave up, man. Matisse gave up in that fight. Yeah, Missy, yeah, Missy, I, I yeah Missy. no, he did. Yeah, of course. He, he gave up, man. He yeah, yeah. yeah. But he don't like him. Yeah. But he's on top. Yeah, but a lot of guys are on top fighters. When they're on top, it's all good. But when well, it's and I think I think even Matisse against Provonikov, I think he looked like he wanted to give up a couple times yes. in that fight, too. Dude, I, think he, I think he was wilting. Matisse? No, Matisse. Yeah, I think ah, it was schooling him, man. Nah, look, 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 yeah. look at him. He gave up versus Danny Garcia, too. Yeah. That's not his first time. He way oh, past. Oh, is that, is that, oh, yeah, he, he way past his prime, man. So I don't really give um, Post out much credit for that victory. Like, Matisse, I don't see him winning too many more big fights unless he, like, take a lot of punishment. Mm hmm. Mm hmm, man. I, well, like, I, like, I don't like, know about like, that. I don't if, know. If the, if the Matisse versus Herrera fight would have came off, I thought Herrera would have schooled him. To be honest, I mean, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't think Matisse would have been able to hang with his boxing skills. Exactly. So I think that probably would have exposed, um, you know, Postal's win to a certain degree. But I mean, regardless, uh, I think the only, the only, the only gain that Matisse has is the punches chance. That's it. Honestly, yeah. Matisse, Matisse's dropped out the picture really, really badly out the picture. I mean, he, everyone was talking about machine. I mean, he's he's lost pretty much all of his biggest Ooh. fights, really. Exactly, I mean, that's, that's a big yeah. part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, man. Yes, man. But, um, Golden it, Boy are so ke- so keen, you know, what? to generate some money because they've invested a lot of mon- money and time in him. They're just giving him first, second, third, fourth chances. So yeah. fair enough, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, to me, like, I think if uh, Frankie Gomez beats Herrera on the on the Canelo Khan undercard, I think probably the next guy is Matisse. They'll feed Matisse to Gomez too. Yeah. 
And Gomez, 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 Gomez will knock Matisse's yeah, ass out. I agree. I think so. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, Matisse ain't much about Gomez. Well, he, don't, he don't do shit. He just fuck up pretty much. Hey, Scorsese, um, you want to pull up some news or you want to, we, we, we finish our predictions? Khan, Matisse, uh, Yeah, something I'm pissed off about. I'm pissed off with the WBA beyond repair right now. They right. told us they told us they was giving us Uchiyama versus Fortuna. That was like the best fight of the year as far as I'm concerned. Like um it's right up there on my calendar with Pavekin and Wilder. Because Uchiyama is like so decorated and then you got Fortuna still undefeated. And and it was just like a hell of a fight. And they, they didn't force a person be you can't get no answers nowhere. Everybody ready to talk about Keith Thurman having a fucking car wreck, then making the WBA do something, you know, like that. The WBA are a joke. And I mean, you look at it, you look at another example of the WBA's absolute stupidity. Now, they've announced that they're rescinding a number of the titles, they're phasing them out. Fair enough. But what they're doing now, if you look in the light welterweight, they've actually made a fight for the WBA regular belt. You know, we know that Adrian Broner is the Super World Champion. Yeah. So Ricky Burns of Scotland is actually moving up to fight for a belt that they've already said they're going to phase out. Yeah, that's know, right. Contradicting yeah. themselves. Yeah, that's yeah. just... Yeah, I, I, I was thinking about it, but they said the winner of that fight is going to fight um, Adrian Broner, which is going to be good. But that's, that is contradicting themselves right there and then. But hopefully the winner will fight Adrian Broner. Like, that's what I want to see. I want to see Burns versus Broner. But, but you see, this is this is another bizarre thing here. If, if, they, if, they, if they're basically sanctioning a fight between the regular champion and the super world champion, like they did with Nicholas Waters and Nanita Denier when they fought for the WBA versions. Fair enough, that's good. But then you've got to ask yourself, well, why doesn't Danny Jacobs then fight Gennady Golovkin for the... Yeah. But you know they won't, yeah. because them two guys were pictured together at the WBA convention, sitting down, smiling, stroking each other's dicks. You know, they were oh never going to sanction that fight, mate. I look at it like this. Um, is that, that's yeah. Gus, right? You know what? That has, they haven't spoke on it yet. So I'm giving them a pass to what they haven't spoke on. But they literally told us on their website that they were forcing, because they were doing all this. See, Bob Arum's, a, Bob Arum's part of this, in my opinion, because he doesn't convince Uchiyama that Nicholas yeah. Walters is some kind of super fight over him, but he won't even pay Nicholas Walters a million dollars to fight Lomachenko. So he basically done shoved his way in, like, hey, fight my guy, and he's he's the big draw. And we know Nicholas Walters is not a draw. And by the way, Lomachenko should get the B-side. He got fucking six fights and he already got a loss. He shouldn't be getting even money with somebody who done put the work in and stayed undefeated. I don't care about the titles. It just, ain't nobody going to respect that. But but my opinion on this is um, Bob Arum made this man think that he was going to be in a super fight over here in the U.S. Yeah. And and, and they, the WBA said, oh, well, you ain't got it done. Here goes Fortuna. And Uchiyama and Fortuna can't even agree to fight in the States or Japan. But he he agreed to fucking fight Nicholas Walters in the U.S. Walters nor Fortuna is from the U.S., so what does it matter? Neither one is a draw. If anyone is a draw, Fortuna's the draw. They left Nicholas Walters last fight. People left it. When he fought Mariaga, people left. When he fought... um. So, so I think it was in the same venue. Nobody there again. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I mean, I understand your issue, Gus, but my issue is that they really, if you go look at their site, they said Uchiyama Fortuna, yeah. they have 30 days to, to send yes. in about contracts. Yeah. They had 30 days to send in contracts, and we go on the purse bit. And they didn't I, agree at all. I've emailed well, I tweeted them. I I just want to know what what is the reason? Is somebody ducking? Is Fortuna a ducker? He's my favorite fighter, but if he's a ducker, I'd like to know. Fortuna retweeted me. He um he liked the tweet, but I still got no answer. Dan Raphael won't go in detail about it. Like this is the problem with boxing. This is the biggest best fight. It's not the biggest fight, but I'd be damned if it's not one of the best fights. It's a better well, fight. Well, I put I put it to you this way: it's a it's a better fight than uh, than Walters versus Lomachenko. Walters versus Lomachenko at one thirty doesn't prove anything other than who's the who's the fourth best fighter in the weight not, class. Not, I'm who's, not even going to go that far. That both of them are great fights, but it's not even about the weight class. Both of them are great fights. No, no, yeah, they, they, they are, but the thing but, is, the but let's say, let's say Uchiyama like is the number one fighter in the division. Fortuna, let's say like if he this. beats him, should be the number one fighter, right? Let's say, yeah, correct, but let's say it like this. It's a better fight. It's a more important fight. 
It's not a money fight, but it's a more important fight than fucking Canelo Khan. It's a more important fight. It's a fucking more important fight than uh, than uh, Golovkin versus Wade. And I can go on down the list. And to be honest, it should be. To be honest, it should be more important than Thurman Porter. Thurman couldn't hold. Yes, I mean, Porter could not hold this belt for two defenses. Thurman has never won a title. Uchiyama's yeah, been very true. nine fights, and we can't very get true. them to do us justice. We ain't boxing fans, man. People don't say nothing about that. They, I don't want to hear them talk boxing. Yeah, no, that's that's extremely true, man. Because I mean, Fortuna's a top contender, top level contender, undefeated, and I mean, he deserves a title shot as much as anybody in the entire sport. Period. And then Uchiyama's, the you know, the the clear number one in the division. So I mean, you got no, clear number one versus our arguable number two, number three, number four in Fortuna. You know, that's that's one of the best fights that could be made. In the you know who too. I'm hearing Fortuna's gonna fight, and it's a fucking disgrace. This man oh. fight. Uh, what's this guy from Philadelphia? Where's the beard? Oh, Omar Douglas. Is that it? Omar Douglas. Omar Douglas, he yeah. fights on PBC on like FS1. Yeah, he's an Al Heyman fighter. Yeah, like, I, I, yeah. That's, I, that's just so fucking disrespectful, man. Like, yeah, this dude's supposed to be fighting the number one person in the division, and he think he can beat him, or he would have never went to negotiations. They, they, they said the fight was made. They said they was everything was going fine. Next thing you know. Time flies. I'm still counting from 14 days on downward. I'm saying, hey, if we get the to <laughs> as, as Uchiyama actually fought out of Tokyo. Has he ever fought nah, away from Tokyo? Nah, he hasn't. Nah, he hasn't. He hasn't. Nah, he's so much more. He said he wants to come over here, like, just like with Nicholas Walsh. It's not he won't fight for a tournament. I, oh. I'm telling you, Bob Arrow made this man think that him and Nicholas Walters was a super fight. Just because Nicholas Walters had beat Donet. Walters is a nobody here. He can fight. Don't get me wrong, but he's a nobody unless it's us talking about. It is simple as that. Y'all make me laugh, man. That, y'all, you very funny now, but that's your guy. I understand it, but you see the thing is, this is what I just said. I said Paul Barham he had Rigendahl and Lomachenko should happen. Lomachenko, why he fight done there? Oh no, sorry, maybe not. Lomachenko should have fought Water. That should happen. I agree with you. Bob Arum's in this year because right now. Like, if it was a fight where, he, he, you know what I mean, all these good, great fights are not happening, Bob Iram, we're blaming Al Heyman, whatever, Bob Iram's got guys in his stable, and he's still not making certain fights happen. That don't make no sense, man. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Uh, was, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, shouldn't do that, but it's, this and is... Byron, and Byron's out there saying that uh, Lomachenko is the best pound-for-pound fighter. Is that what he's saying? Uh, the best pound for pound fighter doesn't lose doesn't lose to a guy like Salido. I like I like Lomachenko. Look, I like right Lomachenko, here, but they gotta quit thinking that to prove the fighters. Go ahead, go ahead, man. No, I, yeah. I'm just reading what he's saying. That uh, look, he said Lomachenko is a beast, the best pound for pound right now. Not even. Not even. Nah. Pound for pound, hey, pound for pound level fighters beat Salido. So uh, Marquez beat him. Gamboa beat him. Yeah. Mikey Garcia beat him. <laughs> yeah. Lomachenko's no, I like Lomachenko's good, yeah, but hey man, he's just, 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 just No, he's good, I agree. He's, he's, yeah, he's I good. Agree. He's a, I mean he's a, he's not a bad fighter, but the the people that try to tell say that he's pound for pound need to come off that. Well, that's it. That's it. He was a good. He was a good amateur fighter. Two yeah. times, you know, gold yeah. medalist. We don't really know a lot yeah. about him in the professional Mike, Mike game. Ty- Mike Tyson yeah. lost to Tyrell Biggs in the amateur. Exactly. And then, he went, and then he turned pro and knocked his bitch ass out in seven rounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amateur system. You only fight in three rounds with a head guard. This is but guys, we got a Why is he trying to always give Lomachenko the same amount of money as everybody else? Like, what? What the fuck? This dude don't fill up no seats. HBO won't even set aside a date for him. But you because think... he overpaid for his contract. That's why. Oh, my God, man. Yeah, they need to why. cut it out, man. And then they talking about somebody ducking him. No, he ain't ducked. You just don't You don't bring a guy and say he got six fights. I don't even know if it's six. Lomachenko is one of my favorite fighters. And people won't believe me because I point out the bullshit. But the truth is this bullshit. Nicholas Walters done grind it, grind it, grind it. He's asking for a better payday, and they trying to pay him what, three hundred thousand each? Well, uh, because if you don't bow down and kiss Lomachenko's ass, apparently you're a hater. 